Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good evening Yang berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Sri Ranjit Ajit Singh Chairman of Securities Commission Malaysia Yang berbahagia Datuk Muhammad Faiz Azmi Immediate Past President of the Malaysian Institute of Accountants MIA And Chairman of the MIA 50th Anniversary Celebration Yang berusaha Encik Salihin Abang President of MIA Yang berbahagia Datuk Narendra Kumar Jasani Vice President of MIA Tan Sri Tan Sri Datuk Datuk MIA Past President MIA Past Registrars MIA Present and Past Council Members MIA Past CEOs Friends from the media Distinguished guests, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the third MIA 50th Anniversary Commemorative Lecture The Commemorative Lecture is part of a line of activities being organised to celebrate an important milestone for MIA and the Kanusi profession which is the Golden Jubilee of the 50th Anniversary Celebration since the establishment of MIA on 30th September 1967 To honour this momentous occasion, a series of three commemorative lectures by the nation's iconic accountants are being organised throughout the year revolving around, uh, revolving around the theme Integrity, Accountability and Trust Tonight's lecture is the finale of the three lecture series and revolves around the third theme of the MIA 50th Anniversary celebra Celebration, Trust It is definitely an honour to have the highly esteemed Yang berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Sri Ranjit Ajit Singh to be the guest speaker for tonight's lecture. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's now invite Yang Berusaha Encik Sahlin Abang, President of MIA, to deliver his welcome remarks. Yang berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Sri Ranjit Ajit Singh, Chairman Security, Mala Security Commission Malaysia. Yang berbahagia Datuk Muhammad Faiz Azmi, MIA 50th Anniversary Organizing Chairman. Yang berbahagia Datuk Jasani, VP of MIA. Tan Sri Tan Sri, Datuk Datuk, Council Members, previous Council Members of MIA and the Management of MIAs, Members of Media, MIA Members and the Potential Members of MIA. <laughs> yeah, because I have a KPI to deliver 60,000 number of accountants. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and very good evening. We just received news about the kemangkatan ke bawah duli yang maha mulia Tuan Kusultan Abdul Alim Mu'azzam Shah, the Sultan of Kita. Can we observe a moment of silence and for the Muslim can we recite Suratul Al-Fatiha? Al-Fatiha. Ya, yeah, amin, 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 ya Rabbal Alamin. I am delighted here to welcome all of you today. This is the final series of MIA 50th Anniversary Commemorative Lecture, which is being presented no other than Siang Berbahagia Tan Sri today. On the topic of, which is very close to our heart, that is TRUST, Trust. Okay? As you already know, in the conjunction of the MIA 50th Anniversary, the MIA has hosted a series of commemorative lecture by iconic accountant. The first lecture that we have is that held in April, featured in Berbahagia Tan Sri Wahid Omar, the group chairman of Pemodala National Berhad. He shared his talk on the topic of integrity, the game changer. The second lecture which was held in May, featured in Berbahagia Tan Sri Datu Azman Mokta, the managing director of Hazana National Berhad. He shared interesting facts on the accountability and sustainability, the roles of accountant. If you realize the MIA 50th anniversary celebration is centered on the journey toward the three core values, which, is, which are integrity, accountability, and trust. These visionary leaders of the profession shed light on how accountants should strive to uphold these fundamental values and drive movements like sustainability and value creation. Ladies and gentlemen, the accountancy profession has great influence in the capital market through the many rules, from auditors to reporting accountants to the professional accountants involved in corporate finance. Accountants and finance professionals are the key pillars in the organization. 
thus helping to create a sustained value and growth. They are the front runner when it comes to the safeguarding the integrity of the financial reporting, which is crucial for investors to make informed decisions. Undoubtedly, capital markets are built on trust, driven by accurate and reliable financial information. Such information relies on the practices of the professional accountant. The society place its trust on accountant. This trust is a social capital of the profession, which in turn creates stakeholder trust in the regulation of the capital market. As it is said, trust is something that is difficult to establish. It is very fragile. It needs to be taken care of when it breaks into pieces. It is very difficult to review. It is therefore exceedingly important for professional accountant to sub the circuit of it. Unfortunately, in the distant and the recent past, we have witnessed erosion of the public trust in the accountant because high profile cases of accounting scandal. Not to talk about the heightened doubt of the, in the competency and also credential of the accountant. Its negative impact has been felt by the capital market. While the accountancy profession has always dealt with change from the increasing regulated environment to the emergence of technology, restoring stakeholder trust remains a daunting task. It is takes years to build. Ladies and gentlemen, we must aim to install, instill confidence in this institution supporting the global economy in order to help rebuild winning trust. Organization and individual must be empowered by strong public and private sector governance to collaborate, to generate a consistent and transparent regulatory atmosphere that encourages growth and investment generating confidence. This will help to restore public trust and confidence in the global economy and its institution. As the National Accountancy Body, Malay, the MIA will continue to work with other stakeholders to build a stronger regulatory and corporate governance framework in Malaysia. In this regard, the MIA and Security Commission Malaysia are in sync in encouraging more companies to adopt integrated reporting as a means going forward. MIA is revamping its competency framework to enhance the competency of its members. In line with the demands of digital disruption for new set of indispensable skills to the capital market, among others, MIA has established a digital economy task force to prepare members. And at individual level, accountant and finance professionals should also do their part in keeping up with the latest trend that is happening in the digital space. This means they must evolve in the capital market by quickly embracing emerging technologies as well as adopting reporting standards and new regulation framework that reflects the changing business landscape. Ladies and gentlemen, trust begins with the self. If accountants cannot trust themselves, then the profession cannot earn the trust of the wider stakeholders of the profession and ultimately, confidence in the market will be dampened. I believe today, I believe today's session would be an interesting one. We are here because we trust the trust of we have in ourselves, the trust that we have in MIE, the trust that we have in the Security Commission, and the trust that we have in our distinguished speaker, the Stansri. Before I conclude my speech, I would like to thank Ibn Bahagia Tansri and also uh, Dato Faiz for moderating this session today, and I'm sure the particip participant is eager, uh, eager to hear your experience, your thought, your view on this uh, topic. I hope at the end of the day, we will emerge as more trustworthy accountant. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the session and have a good evening. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Encik Salihin. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let us now invite Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Muhammad Faiz Azmi, the immediate past president of MIA and chairman of the MIA 50th anniversary celebration to deliver his introductory remarks. If you please, Datuk. Yang Berbahagia, Tuan Sri Datuk Sri. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit caught away. I want to get on with it. Yang Berbahagia, Tuan Sri Datuk Sri Ranjit Ajit Singh. Yang Berusaha, Encik Salihin Abang, President MIA. Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Narendra Jasani, Vice President MIA. Tan Sri Tan Sri Datuk Datuk, fellow accountants, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum and good evening. 
So, welcome to this third and final MIA anniversary lecture to commemorate the MIA 50th anniversary. And I really would like to also thank the Securities Commission for letting us use this uh, fine venue. To celebrate our birthday, we're very honored to have with us another illustrious accountant, Tan Sri Dato Sri Ranjit Ajit Singh, as our third speaker in the series. Tan Sri will speak about one of our three accounting virtues listed in our tagline, it's up there by the way, about trust. This is a very topical subject with Sir David Tweedy speaking to students last week about the importance of trust in an accountant's work. My own firm's award dinner, which was to celebrate companies who have done a lot to build trust. Tan Sri Ranjit was appointed as the Executive Chairman of the Securities Commission on the 1st of April 2012 and was reappointed to his second term in April 2017. Tan Sri was previously the Managing Director of the Securities Commission and has extensive experience in the field of finance and securities market regulation. Tan Sri was awarded his title by the late Yandi Putanagum and his Dato Sri with the Sultan Aslango. Tan Sri Ranjit was appointed the Vice Chairman of the Governing Board of the ISCO, the Global Body of Capital Market Regulators, and was elected as the Chairman of the ISCO Growth and Emerging Markets Committee, GEM, which represents 94 countries. In 2014, Tan Sri Ranjit was appointed chairman of the ASEAN Capital Markets Forum, a body tasked to spearhead market integration efforts within the region. This is in addition to his other day jobs, um, chairman of SIDC, the Malaysian Venture Capital and Private Equity Development Council, the CMDF, and he's also vice chairman of the AIF, uh, a member of the board of Labuan Financial Services Authority and the Financial Reporting Foundation. Tansi Ranjit trained as a financial economist and accountant. He holds a Bachelor of Economics degree and a Master's of Economics degree in Finance from Monash University in Melbourne. He was also conferred the degree of Doctors of Laws Honoris Causa by Monash University Melbourne. He is a fellow of the CPA Australia and has worked in academia, consulting and accounting in Australia and Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, I've known Tansi since our primary school days. Our, our paths didn't cross much then. Uh, until I returned back to Malaysia in 1993, where we got to know each other in our respective capital market roles. I've also had the privilege of working with him when he became my deputy chairman on FRF during my tenure as the MSB chairman. So other than his fondness for Chapati in Liverpool, mm -hmm. the club, um, what has characterized Tan Sri in my mind is his intellect, articulation, and willingness to try new things. He is known to be passionate on sustainability and responsible investing, and has supported initiatives such as the SRI Sukuk and Islamic Wealth Management. He has stated publicly his wish for Malaysia to be a regional hub for SRI in the next five years. In line with the digital economy, the SC and his leadership has looked to open the current regulatory framework to digital funding, such as the, the equity crowdfunding initiative. In my deal with Tan Sri, he has been the quintessential regulator. He's knowledgeable about developments around the world. He's fair and forthright. And he understands how to set rules that encourages but does not stifle business. We are indeed very fortunate to have him as our SE chairman. And he is in an excellent position to share with us about trust from the viewpoint of a regulator. Ladies and gentlemen, I commend to you our third illustrious speaker, Tan Sri Ranjit Singh. Nato Fires, thank you very much for that opening introduction. Let me say how delighted I am uh, to be able to be introduced by my colleague in uh, well, primary school. <laughs> I, was, I was much shorter than he was much thinner. <laughs> so we've all expanded in different ways, guys. Inches uh, Abang, President of MIA, Dato Dasani, Vice President, MIA Council members, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, very good evening. And thank you for taking time uh, from your schedule this evening to come and hear me speak uh, on this subject of trust. Of course, uh, I'm actually extremely delighted uh, to be given the privilege of being able to celebrate this very important landmark occasion uh, with you. 50 years is an extremely sig significant milestone. And of course, uh, for MIA, it not only is significant in terms of what represents, but it's also been a testament to its uh, 
legacy of instrumental contributions, active membership, and of course, sound leadership. And therefore, I'd like to express my congratulations to both uh, Dr. Faiz, uh, as well as uh, Inchi Salihin, and Dr. Jasani, and all the MI members for this milestone anniversary. I'd also like to commend MIA for this initiative taken in organizing this uh, particular effort. Dr. Faiz convinced me uh, that I ought to speak at this series. Uh, to be quite frank, uh, he didn't require too much uh, uh, convincing. Uh, I, I saw the value of what this represents. And uh, as I said, I was uh, very privileged and honored to be asked to share with you uh, my views. Uh, and of course, uh, today I understand we have a very uh, diverse uh, audience, both of practitioners, uh, as well as members of the academia, and interestingly, of course, I understand uh, counting students. So it's a very uh, nice and diverse um, audience. And of course, as uh, Fires has pointed out, you know, we are speaking here in the final of uh, three segments and uh, are following two extremely illustrious uh, speakers, uh, very dear friends of mine, who have spoken on uh, integrity, that's Sri Wahid Omar, of course, um, that's Sri Azman, and his views on accountability and sustainability. And so we focus today on the topic of trust, and um, a topic that not only draws a close relationship to the other two themes, and actually nicely builds upon them, but surely at some point or the other uh, has been reflected in our own personal experiences. Whether we converse on daily affairs, or convene to debate upon national or international global issues, trust is a subject that is consistently relevant and relentlessly important. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by sharing the wisdom